I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on memory. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on memory for your R540. Uh, what we're going to do today is go over the uh, different speeds, different sizes, different types. Uh, then at the end, we're actually going to show you how to install it, uh, what the, uh, the max is, uh, some of the um, uh, configurations as far as uh, how to pay attention to the uh, different slots and the different memory channels and where do I actually install my RAM. So let's just go ahead and hop in. So the, uh, the different speeds for the R540 are uh, 2133, 2400, and 2666. Yes, you can put in 2933 or 3200 speed, but just know that they're going to clock down to 2666, which is the true fastest speed for the R540 server. Um, now, the uh, different sizes. You can go as low as a 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, 32 gig, or all the way up to 64 gig. Uh, and as far as the different types of RAM, that's going to be ECC registered, also known as an RDIM or load reduce also known as an LRDIM. And the differences between them, well, there really isn't as far as it's concerned on the scalability. You can put in 1664 gigs at 2666 speed, getting to one terabyte overall. So both of those will get to one terabyte at 2666 uh, using all 16 DIM slots, which is, I guess, something I skipped over in the beginning. There are 16 DIM slots uh, for the R540, which is a little bit different compared to, uh, like, say, the, uh, the 640 and the 740 and the 740 XD. All those have have uh, 24 DIMM slots, uh, so that is one of the, um, I don't want to say problems or issues, but one of the, the lesser sides of the R540 as a whole is that you're not going to be able to get as much scalability, and not everybody needs that, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, and honestly, this is um, a great box for storage as a whole, and when you're doing storage, you don't always need a ton of RAM anyway, so you really want the uh, the 3.5 inch bays or the 2 a ton of 2.5 inch bays if you want to stuff, stuff in SSDs. So, all right, so now we know a little bit more about the, uh, the RAM type, speed, sizes. Let's go ahead and show you how to actually upgrade it. And before I do that, I'm going to grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We are safe to work inside the machine. I always like to lay out all the items that we're going to need in order to install or do this upgrade. In this case, it's just the RAM. We will not need any tools. So make sure the latch is set to unlock. Pop the top. And we are inside. And so what we're going to need to do is remove the riser and the air baffle, and that'll give us access to the 16 DIM slots. So let's go ahead and pull this straight up. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the air baffle and lift this straight up as well. So you will notice that the uh, the two CPUs are actually uh, different as far as the heat sinks are concerned and as far as the DIMM slots are concerned. So CPU 1 controls the 10 DIMM slots up here and CPU 2 controls the 6 DIMM slots back here. So you will notice that there are uh, six memory channels up here, uh, three on this side and three on this side. Uh, on the uh, three memory channels for the side over here, it controls five DIMMs, uh, which is a little funky, as I said, whereas back here, there's also six channels, uh, but there's no extra DIMMs, so they all have their own, uh, each DIMM is its own channel back here. So uh, it's a little bit of a, a funky configuration overall. You rarely see that. Normally, it's uh, two DIMMs per channel, three DIMMs per channel, or one DIMM per channel, and most common that you see nowadays is just two DIMMs per channel. That's pretty much what everything is. So anyhow, um, now that uh, we've gone over the channels a little bit, let's talk about how do I actually install my RAM, uh, which slots would I put them in, because not everybody is going to max it out like we are about to do. If you're not maxing it out, let's say you're only going to put 64 gigs in or 128 gigs in or something to this effect, which DIMM slots do you want to put them in? And that's a great question. And one of the things I, I did want to note, um, I'm going to bring this back over here. On the um, the air shroud or the air baffle, uh, the right here, and it might be kind of hard to see on camera since it's uh, you know black on black here, so it's kind of tough to see. But it, it labels the dim slots uh, right here, so it's a nice little guide that you could put to the side. It also labels them on top of the motherboard as well, but uh, just in case you have it both ways. So essentially, right here, this white slot is A1, and then you come over to here. This is A2. A3, and then you circle back around, this is A4, A5, A6, swing back over here, the first black slot is A7, A8, A9, A10. So that's the order overall, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these open and I'm going to show you 
uh, how you would do this if you were only stall, uh, only installing some minimum minimal amount of dims. And personally, I like to have uh, dim in all the uh, different channels. So in this case, that would be 14 dims, which is a little bit awkward. Um, and so really at that point, you should honestly just probably put in 16, or excuse me, it would be 12 dims, uh, which is a little bit awkward, and, and you honestly should put in 16. But we have a bunch of different options for you on our site as far as the uh, the different quantities, uh, but because this one's a little bit funky overall, I honestly recommend just putting 16 in. So, okay, so the first one that you want to do is you're going to come over here to A1, and you're going to notice right here, I'm going to show you, there's a notch in the middle, and this notch actually technically is not in the middle, and that's the real key reason that we're talking about it. This key is uh, not perfectly centered, so when you install this, you need to make sure you have your module facing the right way, because if you don't, you could easily damage the dim slot or damage the dim, and if you were to do that, that could easily result in a uh, failed uh, motherboard, essentially, because you're going to need to replace the motherboard if you need to use that dim slot. So this is going to be A1. This is the first slot you want to put your modules in. Then you're going to come over here to A2. And then you're going to hit A3. And then you're going to swing around to A4. And this is still going the same way. Sometimes the notch will flip-flop uh, when you go from one side to the other. But in this case, it's actually all the exact same. And then we're going to hit A5. And lastly, A6. And so hopefully this gives you a general idea of what you'd want to do. As you, know, as you notice, I am literally just following the slots in order. So A1, A2, A3, A4. So you just continue to follow. Um, so in this case, what I would recommend, and this is a good breaking point because right now we're getting to the black dim slots. So if you were not... Uh, fully putting in 16 dims, let's say you were only putting in uh, 12 dims, at this point, and assuming you have two CPUs, of course, because you have to have the second CPU to be able to use these six dim slots, at this point, as opposed to installing them, as opposed to installing them inside the black dim slots, you'd want to start putting them over here in the other white dim slots, and we'll show you these just in just a second. Uh, but the point being is you want all of your memory channels evenly having doing all the, the production at the same level because if you overload a couple of the channels right here you're getting nothing out of some of the ones back here and essentially you just want to have as many channels working for you as pop as possible and all of them have it in a nice even distribution so the performance is maximized so that is the, the overarching goal here so now we're going to swing over here uh, to these dim slots so when you install them over here and i'm going to fast forward i'm just going to um tell you what to do, but then I'll install all of them uh, so that you don't waste a ton of time. But right here would be the first one you'd go. So this is B1, B2, B3. Back over here, the inside is B4, B5, B6. And now we're going to go ahead and fill all these up right now. All right, so we've fully maxed this out. We've put in 1664 gigs. Uh, and technically, it's not maxed out because the speed would be need to be a little bit higher. These are 2400 speed. Um, and you can get to 2666, as we talked about earlier. But we maxed it out as far as the overall capacity. Uh, we've put in a terabyte of RAM, uh, technically 1,024 gigabytes. But you know, with 24 gigs between friends, right? So uh, a terabyte of RAM. Um, and uh, honestly, in real time, this was a, uh, would be really simple to do. It would take you, you know, under three to five minutes uh, to actually put all the DIMMs in. It's, it's a real quick install. It's one of the easier ones um, to, to do overall. So if you're, um, you know, if this is your home lab and you're wondering how, you know, how to do this or if it's going to be an easy thing, yeah, it's super simple. Um, and obviously, if you're in data center, then you should know how to do this. So. So that being said, hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we appreciate uh, everyone that uh, you know likes our videos and subscribes. And if you're looking for any uh, memory upgrades or uh, SSD upgrades or custom-built servers, we do uh, Super Micro, HPE, Dell, IBM, Cisco, AMD Ryzen, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, E3s, E5s, you name it. We do uh, the whole life cycle, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. So please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. And hey, Thanks again for stopping by, guys. Take care.